Hey guys, it's the Traveling Hound Show here. Uh, we are in Utah currently. Our tell you ride plans kind of uh, somewhat backfired a little bit. Uh, it wasn't set up kind of the way that I thought it would be, especially for my van. And me not having tickets and having to try to find some was going to be a little tough. So we decided to go ahead and hit the road and uh, just start heading on to Vegas and go ahead and check the Hoover Dam out and catch some of these cool sites in Utah. Uh, during the day and uh, so we want to bring day seven to you and uh, T-Man you start us off the first question. All right, our first question comes from our buddy Trevor Sherman. Have you had any scary moments on your trip so far? If so, what was it? Uh, probably my, my scariest moment uh, would be uh, I was playing a little blackjack and uh, Travis was there with me. Uh, and he, he was sitting down and we were just kind of hanging out. He told me he was going to the vending machine and look up and he's like gone. And I had no idea where he was. He never come back to tell me that he was just going to go to the van. And uh, he was ended up in the van, but I kind of thought I lost him there for a minute. So I guess I know what it feels like to be a parent if you lose him somewhere. T-Man, what would yours be? My scary moment is climbing that mountain. <laughs> the hiking trip, baby. Yeah. Uh, there's something he's leaving out. He actually was trying to cross the road and uh, was running and tripped over his shoestrings there that, in Black Hawk. my knee, yeah. Scraped up his knee pretty good. Uh, and so I thought that was pretty funny when he lost his pop. T-Man, let's get this behind us because this is just uh, too beautiful to leave out. You can see where we are. We just pulled off Interstate 70. There's uh, There was a sign there was no services for the next 106 miles actually. So. Uh, Utah is just absolutely beautiful. I love this place and I thought no better place to show seven. Let's go T, what next question? Thanks Trevor. Uh, next question comes from Erica Robinson. Uh oh. After all the walking you all do, who is rubbing whose feet? Because I know Isaac and he loves a good foot massage. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny question. She's lucky she's kin to me T man. Uh, no one's rubbing anyone's feet. We actually aren't doing as much walking as it may look like. Uh, doing a lot of riding, uh, so it kind of feels good to get out and uh, take a little walk every once in a while. So uh, I'm not rubbing his feet for sure, even if he asks. T-Man, would you rub mine if I asked you? No, that, that, yeah, that wouldn't. That don't seem. Don't think you're gonna do that, right? No. Next question. Thanks, Edgar, for the question. This one comes from Josh Van Nordstrom. Okay. Um, he asked for the remainder of the trip, if you had to do what without one of the following, which would it be? It would be uh, no AC, no shower, or no radio music. Oh, man. For me on that one, if I had to do without one of them, Man, listening to bluegrass has been getting me through, really. But uh, if I had to pick one, I guess no music, uh, because I sure need and want a shower. That sure makes you refreshed. And uh, the AC part, especially out here out west, I don't know if that'd be good with those triple digit temperatures. So uh, I'm going with uh, no music. What about you, T? I'm going the same. <laughs> yeah, you about burn, burn up where we're going if you don't have AC. Yeah, I agree. And, uh, you know, that bluegrass music will always be there, so hopefully by the time I get back, uh, I'd be good and ready to listen to a little bit of it. Thanks, Josh, for that question. T-Man, what's next? We don't have many today. Last one comes from Dave Osborne. Uh-oh. If Travis had to pick only one sport he could watch for the rest of his life, would it be corn football or corn basketball? Holy cow. Let, let me put a little oh piece goodness. in this before you start. <laughs> Because I think you need a second to think about this. You know what? That might that's be, that, that's a good question. You know T-Man loves his sports. I would be curious also to know which one would he pick over Corbin sports or UK sports. That's something that I would like kind of to know. I might add that in this show, but uh, T-Man, I'm curious. Would you go with the football hounds or would you go with the basketball hounds? Well, I gotta stick to my roots. I'm gonna have to go basketball on this one. Cause, Ooh. Because we played play basketball in high school. Okay, well, I think Coach P, Coach P might uh, 
be a little happier with you now. I mean, you didn't pick him as your favorite coach, but at least you picked his sport to continue to watch. So maybe he still likes you a little bit. Think so? <laughs> Hopefully, go. He's a good. I mean, I, I like every coach around. That was a tough question that while back. That yeah, was Coach West got you on that one, I believe. Uh, guys, we are going to be wrapping up this show, and I think this would be a great background for us to wrap this one up. Uh, we are in some part of Utah. I'm not sure exactly what part, uh, but after you basically enter Utah on I-70, you are you're looking at this the rest of the way. So, uh, T man. As always, we got to wrap this up with rock, paper, scissors. Currently, it's four wins Wilson, two wins Travis. He did pass the friendship test yesterday, so that's good. And uh, let's see if we can make it 5-2 or, or if Travis is able to inch a little closer. You ready, T? Have you been thinking about it? Yep. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, Bang! Wow, he thought paper today. You won with paper yesterday. Did you think I was going to go back rock today? Really? Wow. If you're lucky, I might get to drone out, fly around this canyon a little bit. Uh, we're excited to get to Vegas. Uh, we're going to have some pretty cool little places to do some things in Vegas for our show. So, uh, again, continue to tune in, continue to send in your questions, and we're going to keep on driving. We're going to keep on enjoying this summer. So, uh, we look forward to the next show. and. Until next time.